Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's play around with the iMovie titles. So iMovie is built for ease of use and efficiency. As a result, it doesn't have as many features as some of the more advanced editing tools. For instance, you can't just create any type of title you want. You have to stick to one of the types of titles that are available. But you can do some interesting things with them. Let's play around. So here in iMovie, I've selected the title icon and I can see all the different titles available. Now a lot of these are really preset. These things like echo, overlap, four corners do very specific things and you can't change too many options. But some of the titles like centered, lower third, lower, upper, scrolling credits, etc. have some ways that you can alter them. For instance, let's take the centered title and drag it to our clip and it puts some text here right in the center. Now you've got a main title and also a subtitle underneath. One of the first things you can do is you can get rid of one of those two things. So for instance I can get rid of the subtitle just by deleting it and now I just have one line here that's one size. I can then add more text to it and it will remain the same size. So I can add a whole bunch of stuff to the title right there. Now I can also get the title to go to the top or the bottom by simply adding spaces. So for instance I can add a bunch of spaces here at the bottom and push the text to the top. Likewise, I could push the text to the bottom by adding a bunch of spaces before it. Now I can also select it here, click Show Fonts, and play with the font and also the color here. I can also change the color of the outline from light to dark. And I could right justify or left justify the text. So for instance, I can put it to the left, click Done here, then go in and put some spaces afterwards to push it to the upper left corner. A better way to get to the corners I find is to use either the lower or upper titles, bring those in, and then select it. You can do show fonts and I can go to the left instead of the right. And I could also here insert some lines to bring it to the top. Now for more font options, click on show fonts but then go and choose the system font panel here and then you could change more things about it. So let's we'll select the text here and go to light or italic for Gil Sands. We'll try all sorts of different fonts that are different sizes and we can adjust more things like the basic kerning and baseline, even the outline size. There are two types of scrolling credits. There's the regular scrolling credits and there's also the uh, far, far away scrolling credits down here. Now, when you use these, you might want to do them over a regular background. So let's just do it over black here. And they scroll at a certain speed. You notice that uh, when I play it back, if you've got a lot of text in here, like for instance, let's just copy and paste a bunch of text here. Won't be quite right. But if I play this back, you can see it goes really fast. Well, the trick is that you just need to give it more time. It will scroll as fast as the amount of time you've given it. So if I select this clip here, uh, extend it to say 20 seconds rather than just four seconds. Now when I play it back, it scrolls so the entire credits go over 20 seconds. Same thing for the far, far away credits. So if you use iMovie a lot, it may be worthwhile to create a sample project and play around with the different titles and see how I can alter them. Try adding extra spaces before and after the text, changing the font, changing the justification. And if you can't quite get the effect that you want, you can always take a look at episode 328 of MacMost Now, where I talk about creating custom titles using picture in picture. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.